fish coming out of the Irish Sea is, in my opinion, second to none. I've seen fish in different parts of the world and I have never seen fish, the like of the cod that comes out of the Irish Sea, the haddock that comes out of the Irish Sea, the hake that comes out of the Irish Sea. It's second to none. It's, it's, it's absolutely the, the, the best in the world, in my opinion. I think um, fishing communities are resilient people. The people who live here are resilient. They've lived by the sea and they've worked on the sea for generations. Communities like Port of Ogie here, up to 39% of the population are employed in the industry. So the industry aren't a bolt on the community, they're an integral part of the community that are so, so important for the survival of places like Port of Ogie, Ardglass and Kilkeel. In 17, 18 years on my own fishing for a long time. If it wasn't for putting back the wee ones, there'd be no fishery. 18 years I've been doing that now and I've been looking after, looked after that there, a wee bit of ground, it's a good bit of ground. I love it because you can be in every night, in your own bed and home with the family. We've been on the French coast, Irish coast, right up to the Norwegian coast. So travel the whole continental shelf. Fish the herring in the summertime a little bit of mackerel in the autumn and then we finish off with mackerel after Christmas. It's a lot more automated than it used to be. It still can be quite physical when, when things go wrong. That's when, that's when it sorts the men out from the boys. If you start work on a, on a Sunday night and you come to Tuesday night and you have 40 hours work done, whereas somebody ashore is doing 40 hour work from Monday to Friday, you know, and, and, and in the conditions that we work in at sea, like it's, you're never still on a bad day, rolling and tumbling and all the rest, but, but that's what I chose to do, to say I don't think anything of it. Other people would say, what do you do it for? But to say that it's, there's, there's more salt in my blood than there is blood. There's a mention in the patent rolls of Ireland going back to the Wars of the Roses of the importance of the herring fishery here. But this collection here basically is the more recent history for that, that you were still in those days using a drift net to capture herring which seasonally swam in great numbers off the coast of County Down here. You're down there every day and wind blows you about the harbour and you're fixing it nets and all, but sure it's great, it's a great camaraderie. It's just a good industry. It's like farmers on the land. They don't always do it because of the money, they do it because they love the land, well, the fishermen love the sea. The men, I, like, I'm two down at the sea, I'm a sea now, 17, 31 years, and I've still got the same buzz when I was when I was 17. And it's a lovely day today, as you can see. Uh, if you've been here yesterday, there was horizontal rain, it uh, wasn't pleasant at all, and usually the unpleasant days outweigh the pleasant days, but that's oyster farming. It was something I had uh, a passion for uh, many years ago, um, but if you had to license the site, it would take eight to ten years. So I just I couldn't wait that long, so I moved on. Luckily, the company with now really fish, uh, they were able to push the thing forward, um, so we got it a lot quicker. So in a roundabout way, yeah, I did want to be an oyster farmer, and here I am. Sea Source is actually run by the NAFPO, which is run by the fishermen in Kilkeel. So the fishermen that are landing in us, it's their members of the PO as well. So it's run by fishermen, so that makes it unique. Primarily looking to add value to all the products that's landed by the people that own the factory. And of course, the people that own the factory are uh, the fishermen along, along the, county, the county down coast. I was 16, 24th of June, and I started the 11th of August, 40 years. I was only 16 when I started, and I'll be 56 this year. Well, when I started first, it was all hand trimming, you know, but now it's all conveyor belts and all. Everybody works as a team now, where before, when it was a hand shell, and everybody just sat and done their own work. Just pure hand shell, just tables, steel tables like that, and everybody would hold back with hand shell. People employed now by the group for over 30 years, which is, is good. I think it's important to look after your staff and you have good staff to retain that staff. And the business is based on having good staff and a good quality product that you're able to sell to the consumer. My family have been coming into this shop for more than 100 years now, you know, so uh, as, uh, we're one of Belfast's oldest and longest trading companies. Our smoked salmon is two gold stars, the organic smoked salmon is one gold star. 
are smoked scallops, top 50 foods. This is just from our wee shop in the Shangle Road. We're in the uh, Belfast Cookery School, which is attached to our restaurant, the Morn Chief Bar here in Belfast. We've been on this site now for seven years. Uh, we opened the restaurant seven years ago downstairs, and we've opened this cookery school, and it's been operating now for two years. So we would buy direct from the boats in Kilkeel, uh, Hake, Place, Cod, Haddock. We also would buy a lot of uh, Queen Scallops from Port of Ogie, the north coast. We process those, and our lobster crab comes from that along. Our mussels come from a mussel farmer in Strangford Lock, and our oysters come from Carniford Lock in Donegal. So 95% of what's eaten in this restaurant is Northern Ireland seafood. I think this industry has been incredible because there's been challenges, but the industry has reacted. So boats have become more efficient. They've looked at alternative species and, and indeed alternative uses for fishing vessels. Some people have gone towards aquaculture rather than fishing. So the industry is developing all the time. When you talk about the seafood industry, it's an exciting industry made up of lots of parts from the fishing boats to the factories to aquaculture producers and all those people are working really hard to continue what they're doing to have a sustainable and profitable business for the future. Thank you.